Caesar's class has been going. Uh, Sucrose, wait! Uh, honorary Knight, Paimon, please stop her! <laughs> Whoa! You scared Paimon! What's gotten the two of you so worked up? Sucrose and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. I... I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do. We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. It's not about the credit. Wait. So, does this mean the Knights of Avonius' ingredient is a product of bio-alchemy? Yes, it's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. Quadruple sweetness? But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Also, why a sunsetia? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. I love the scent of wine, and after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I also factored in the differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, sweet flowers from Springvale are a little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. Wow. Like a lot of work. It was no problem at all. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. The chance to source the Defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noel, your eyes are sparkling. But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. Oof. Um. Anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no! What is it, Sucrose? I just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Oh. Uh-oh. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noel. Oh, okay. Anyway, Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noel filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task, even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, none of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates, in my opinion. What we needed was a fruit high in sugar and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noel's list, I picked the Zensetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis, with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I, I already said don't compliment me. Anyway, the result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweet Sensetia, Variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing, and the size and color are both optimal, too. Noel shortened the name to Quadruple Sweetness Sensetia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. Can I have one? Hey! What's wrong with you? Traveler, there's something else I'd like to share with you. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. They never said to me, 
You need to be more sociable, or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but... I truly hope he can find happiness, and spend his life doing what he loves. Oh, so gross. Sorry, I am late again. Teacher forgot about the time. I kept talking and talking. That's all right. We were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Uh, wait a sec. Where did Sucrose go? Wow, she disappeared the moment he opened the door. Hello, I'm Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now... She, um... A little busy. Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like... Potion, nectar, and animal crystal fly. Right? Wow. Nothing gets past your nose, does it? This Sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. The alchemist girl had a message. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to... Uh, to not work so hard all the time, so that I can introduce you to each other. <laughs> okay, I will wait. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, we'll need a barrel, which, if Paimon remembers correctly, is waiting for us at the Angel Share Stand. Bye, Noel. We're gonna head off now. Good luck with everything. See you next time. Overall, I think this task was a success. Oh no! Sucrose's lab equipment! I should go help her carry it! Child of you two? Hmm. How could you? Razor is daddy's friend. And he was a good influence. Right up until you got him interested in wine. <sighs> Razor, you better promise me that you won't turn into one of those old booze hounds that drinks themselves silly slumps over the bar and bursts into tears. I, uh, I don't understand. Sounds like there's been some crossed wires here. Klee, what exactly did you say to Diona? Um, I told her that Razor is looking for his mommy with the honorary knight's help, and you both seemed really sad and said you needed some wine so maybe Diona could help. But before I finished, Diona said, Klee, say no more. I'm getting involved in this if it's the last thing I do. And then we came here. Uh... Uh, okay. Hyman doesn't even know where to start. Um, Diona, it sounds 
Lord Klee left out a few important details in the story. Let us set the record straight. So you're saying... Razor wants to make the same wine that his mother and father once made? So he can learn more about them? Hmm... You better not be making this up to try to pull the wool over my eyes. Sorry, Diona. It was all Klee's fault for not explaining it properly. So... are you still mad? Or can you help Razor make the wine? I caught a bunch of fish for us to eat. Um... And you can pack Dodoko, too, if you want. I... I wasn't that angry. We were just trying to help, I understand. I just don't want Razor being led astray, that's all. That's why I may have raised my voice a little bit just now. Mm. Well, since none of you plan on drinking it, then I suppose I can help you just this once, despite my reservations. But I need you to know that I'm a mixer, not a brewer. So I'm used to working with the finished product. If you really want me to start with a bunch of raw ingredients, eh, that's fine. But I can't make any promises about how it'll turn out. Yay! Diona is the best! <laughs> Do it. <laughs> bunch of flatterers. Now watch this. That was quick. Now we just need to find a place to store it. Please and let me take wait, that in my teapot. Wait for a windier day. Hmm. Does that mean we need to put it somewhere exposed to the wind? Maybe wind rise? Very windy. Yep. If you say the word windy, that's the first place on every monster's mind. Cool. I want to come too. I have to keep an eye on my foolish father, so. I won't be joining you. Klee, come and play again some other time. I will, I promise. Ah, oh, what a curious coincidence meeting you here. Tonya Fard, what are you doing here? Well, I awoke to the most magnificent aroma in the air. After following the sweet scent of fresh fruit to its source, this is where I ended up. Yeah! The fruit is super fresh and super duper sweet! I can smell it as well! <laughs> There's another reason, isn't there? Yes! Oh, uh, I remembered something important. Something that you have to do before sealing the barrel and burying it in the ground. What? We missed something? Razor, do you still remember the scent of that half bottle of Thousand Wind wine? I believe there was a hint of bitterness in there? Yes, there was. <laughs> and with very good reason, too. The source? This! Dandelion seeds? You're familiar with dandelion wine, right? Well, the people of Mondstadt believe that the wind can bring back the soul, and also preserve memories. Dandelion seeds are like living gemstones, formed from the first wisps of wind in the year. People add them to the mix at the last second, as a way of capturing the wind in the very moment that the barrel is sealed. The memory of that moment is then stored in the wine for all time. So, Thousand Wind Wine is the original dandelion wine. Wow! That's so cool! So now our story will be made into wine, too! As for why it always has a different scent, well, that's because people have the freedom to include whatever ingredients they want. <laughs> what is it, Razor? What you thinking about? In Mother and Father's Wine, I can smell dandelion seeds, but I don't know what else. In my wine, there is a lot of... friendship. I still don't understand my mother and father, but I still have you and everyone else. Everyone has done so much for me. Farka, 
Teacher, Clee, Bennett, Uncle Brown Cat, Cold Lady, grown up with fake smile. Gray tough girl, person that smells like animal crystal fly, Uncle Brown Cat's daughter, green bard, paimon, and traveler. I remember everyone. Making wine is hard work. Making this wine needed everyone working together. Hard work with friends, not so hard after all. I'm, I'm so happy. Aww. Thank you. Friends are also Lupical. Whether I'm human or I'm wolf, it doesn't matter. From now on, all of us are together. When I grow up, we will come back here and we will open this wine together. <laughs> what a magnificent monologue. Even as a bard, I don't feel like there's anything else to add. All that remains now is to bury the barrel and wait, wait for the fruit to ferment. Aww. We're finally done! Paimon feels like a celebration is in order. Um, if Paimon remembers correctly, tomorrow should be wind coming day, right? Wow! The animal god is coming home! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that reminds me. I haven't memorized the song for the toasting ceremony yet. <laughs> I'd better get back. Friends, I shall see you all tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Wait for the whisper of the gentle breeze to rouse you tomorrow morning. Then come and enjoy a performance by the greatest bard to ever grace the streets of Mondstadt. Razor, you were so cool back there. Cool? But inside, I feel warm. <laughs> no, not like that. When you think something's awesome, you can say it's cool or sweet. Oh. Hmm. But I think Clea is sweet. Showing up to welcome the animal archon. Uh huh. Why is everyone crowded around the angel share stand? Tradition holds that the finest wine of the Vinelesa Fest only goes on sale after the animal archon has tasted it at the toasting ceremony. Everyone's waiting in line for the big moment. Ugh. So welcoming the animal archon back is just a means to an end for them, huh? What about you, Lisa? Are you here for Razor? Yes, I was feeling a little concerned about him, but I just spoke with him, and he tells me that the winemaking went very smoothly. Ah, <sighs> such a relief. A glass of the festival's finest will go down smoothly now, too. Wow, you too, huh? <laughs> Razor and the others are over there. You should go say hi. Hey, hey! There you are! Whoa! What's with all these bottles? Selling your own homebrew now? <laughs> these are for Razor. From us. Mommy said that everyone's welcoming the animal god today, and we need to give him some wine. If the animal god likes the wine, he'll turn into the wind and bless everyone. We want the animal god to be happy, so he helps Razor. <laughs> oh, honorary knight! Look what Albedo let me borrow. This bottle is from my dad. Luckily, I managed not to break it on the way here. <laughs> uh, it's just for show, though. I have to give it back to them afterwards. Mommy said that the animal god can drink a lot of wine. She said 
If he wanted to, he could drink the whole of Cider Lake in one big gulp. So, do you think we'd have enough between these and the wine raiser's parents left behind? Ah, Green Bard. Ah, uh -uh. everyone. I am greatly honored to be able to be here today. I have been invited by Acting Grandmaster Jean of the Knights of Avonius to perform a piece for everyone. Thousand Wind Wine. It is some of the finest verse I know. I dedicate it to the wind and to everyone here with us today. Fill up the barrels and store them away, then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight, for the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue, as Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom? And what are the fruits that went into the brew, an explorer's courage, a love tender and true? A defender's will, strong as yesteryear Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away As we wait, wait for a windier day Pray tell, what treasure does this barrel hold? Tis wheat's greatest triumph, the true liquid gold. As it flows from the keg, what sound drifts by? Wind chimes in the boundless immemorial sky. We raise up our glasses and voices in song as we wait. Wait for the wind to sing along. Where do we turn once the thousand winds take flight? To the tales of the liar, to the sweet dream of tonight. Dear friends, let us now open the wines. To the Animal Archon! To the Animal Archon. <laughs> Um, there's no wind. Don't feel sad, Clee. But why didn't he come? If the animal god didn't come home, is it because he doesn't like the wine we brought for him? He's not drunk yet. Of course not. You know, Clee, the wind isn't the only form that the animal archon can turn into. He can turn into anything. So today, he must have come back looking like something else. Huh? Really? Maybe he turned into a Jumpy Dumpty. Sure, Jumpy Dumpty it is. Hope you're listening, Animal Archon. <laughs> Racer, did the Animal Archon bring you a blessing? Yes. I talked a lot with you all, and I learned a lot. Now, I am not afraid. I think that is a blessing. Don't forget to save me a glass of your wine once it's finished fermenting. Can I get some? Yes. We share together, and we remember together. Yay! <laughs> but now I'm getting thirsty. We've all done a lot of talking. Let's go get something to drink, shall we? I heard that the Angel Share is selling a new drink called Fruits of the Festival. Everyone's saying it's delicious. <gasps> I want some! I want some! Okay, everyone. Let's go. Take this, crush it, 
then place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. This is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. <laughs> good, very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes, I like it. Razor! Razor! Come on! you huh wait you came here looking for us of course do you have any idea how popular your charity stall is everyone's been talking about it favonian goodies and buddies run by the honorary knight and their sidekick is selling all kinds of fantastic treasures and even giving away some wonderful others for free don't miss out People are giving good reviews. I think to a conference. Anyway, what have you two been up to these days? Did you go off on a trip or something? We haven't seen you around the whole festival. <laughs> That's because we're still working. Huh? You still have to work? Uh, do you get any time off here in the festival? Technically, Amber and I are on a vacation schedule. There are more merchant caravans than usual traveling the route between Dormanport and Mondstadt City during the festival. Extra traffic means extra security is required. Because of monsters and bandits and stuff? Yes. The Reconnaissance Company is tasked with patrolling this route during the festive period as well as traveling with the caravans to ensure essential goods are delivered without incident. We have to investigate suspicious locations to eliminate any emerging threats. <sighs> that seems like a lot of work. Sounds like you'll be working non-stop around the clock right up until the end of the Vine Lisa Fest. Of course not. We take shifts. While one team is on duty, another is resting, and a third team is on standby in case of emergencies. These three teams rotate periodically. Yula's such an experienced captain. She arranged everything this way so that the reconnaissance company can meet the intense demand during the festival, while still giving everyone a chance to take some time off. Gotta say, great organizing, Yula. Yes, all right, Amber. I did my job like I always do. I really don't see what the fuss is all about. Captain Yuya, you're an inspiration to us all. Enough, both of you. The festive spirit is turning you into giddy little children. <clears throat> anyway, we didn't come here just to chit-chat. I'll let Eula do the honors. Okay. I need 40 portions of Night Special Northern Smoked Chicken, and 40 of Favonia's favorite pile up That's such a huge order! What's the occasion? Wait, are the Knights of Favonius having an official feast? How come nobody told us about it? 
<laughs> Nothing quite as glamorous as all that. Captain Eula wants some supplies to reward her team members with. Correct. Scouts use up an enormous amount of energy in a single day. Each meal, they eat enough to feed... Hmm... Four to five normal people. Plus, a long-standing member has recently returned to our ranks after a long absence. I thought it would be fitting to celebrate the occasion. Of all the things I could have bought, I thought it would be best to have the money go to you. That way, I can support a charitable cause while I'm at it. Paimon agrees! You made the right decision, Eula. It's what we business owners call a win-win situation! Thank you for your generous contribution. Also, about this long-standing member you mentioned. Is it the guy we met recently? Nika, the frontline land surveyor. He was a vital member of our team before the Grandmaster borrowed him for the expedition. Nika! Yeah, that's the one! Paimon never would have thought that shy little guy was such a strong knight! Because you're scared of us. Nika's not afraid of you guys. That was his way of showing respect to you. Although, admittedly, it is kind of a roundabout way of doing it. He thinks all mighty people have unique personalities and prefers to understand what makes them tick and the way they think before properly interacting with them. He says it makes it easier to communicate that way. He was the same way toward me and Amber at first. As we gradually got to know each other, he started acting more naturally. Interesting. Sounds like Mika's the one with the unique personality. I remember that. Mm-hmm. It'll just take a little time, that's all. You are a high-profile figure within the Knights of Favonius. As his commanding officer, I have a duty to make sure no misunderstandings arise between you. Uh, it's all right, Eula. We get it. You're just looking after him. Wait, Eula, did you just pay for my portion too? I was supposed to pay for mine separately. I'm not an official member of the reconnaissance company. <sighs> if you want to get official about it, then fine. It's officially my treat. There, now stop worrying. Oh, thanks to you and Amber, we made a whole day's worth of more in one fell swoop! Honorary Knight, Paimon, I have the most wonderful news. Thanks to your sterling efforts, the funds we've raised in this charity sale have blown our original predictions right out of the water. It's a phenomenal success. Paimon told you so. We're good at this stuff. Great work. Ah, but you two deserve all the credit. It's your expert management that made this event what it was. I've handed over all the revenue to the person responsible for managing our charitable funds. And with that, the event finally comes to a close. As a gesture of our appreciation, we'd like to give you both a fee for all your hard work. You've more than earned it. After this, I feel like I could even run a shop of my own in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the chance to work together one day. It feels like we accomplished a lot together. If the chance ever comes up, let's do it again! Yeah.